back to Shore Garage. Thanks for uh, being one of my uh, thousand subscribers. And if you're not, why don't you just hit the button? I'm pretty pumped about hitting a thousand. Started this channel for fun, you know what I mean? I didn't really think it was actually going to get a thousand subscribers. That's, that's pretty cool. So thanks for that. So uh, yeah, on today's episode, what we're going to do here is uh, the wife wants a concrete patio for our fire pit. She's done with the rocks. She's done with the pavers. I don't blame her. So what we're going to do here now is uh, basically build a two inch thick reinforced concrete pad. This will have a rebar net in it and uh, it should be more than more than enough. I personally don't think it needs the rebar, but I'm just putting that extra measure in there of, uh, you know, of strength. Okay. We got something um, in order to do this. And I'm going to tell you why in a second, but first let me go show you. We bought this. It does four cubic feet of concrete. Um, and a lot of people are going to be like, you're nuts. Why don't you just have a concrete truck come in? And I'm going to tell you exactly why. In order for a concrete truck to come out here and to pour a 12 by 12 foot, two inch thick concrete pad, it's going to cost me about $2,600. Thanks to good old fuel prices. Uh, the delivery charge alone is about a thousand dollars. I live relatively far from any kind of concrete place. So. I guess with the added risk of concrete going bad before it gets here, I don't really know how all that works, but it's about a thousand dollar delivery charge to start plus the concrete. You're looking at about twelve, thirteen hundred dollars worth of concrete. So there you go. To do it in bags, it's about three hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> so why the hell would I that mixer was two hundred with a coupon? They're three hundred fifty for concrete and my own labor. And I also have about 200 bucks here in rebar, rebar ties, screws, wood, you know, for the form and everything. So you just saw me screw the form together. It is exactly on the inside of the form. It's exactly 12 feet by 15 feet. It's on the inside face of the form. Square, I checked that, and I just leveled it. It only took me about 30 seconds to level it. South Carolina, sagged in the back, lifted in the front. 42 80 pound bags of concrete. I need 51, so I gotta go pick the other nine up. like that 3,000 pounds of concrete on the ground
uh, wise word of advice. If you ever want to do something like this, bite the fucking bullet. Get a goddamn truck in here. This sucks. Yep. Never again. Never again. Okay, so it's uh, day two. It absolutely poured last night. Um, I did have that covered with my uh, solar cover for my pool. <laughs> it's only a tarp I had that was actually big enough to cover the span. But it, uh, it hardened up nice. All right, so we've now brought it up to about two inches. I laid the rebar this way because if I crisscross it, then it's too high. And after all that work, I'm not excavating none of this. So we're running it that way. And we're just getting our mix ready. What I'm doing here is I take the 80 pound bags. That's four of them in a wheelbarrow right there. That's four 80 pound bags of quickcrete ready to go. Then I got my mixer right here, which is a four cubic foot. Decided to buy one because it was $20 more than renting one for a day. So, I mean, and this one was bigger. So kind of a no brainer there. And when I'm done, I'll just sell it on Marketplace. Um, so... I'm spraying the water in there, adding uh, shovel by shovel uh, as needed until desired thickness. And then I dump it into that five gallon bucket and it's easy for me to, uh, you know, put it where I need it. I haven't laid anything down yet. I haven't even started. I just put the four bags in there. So we're going to get going now on this. I'm going to put you on a time lapse and uh, we'll get what we can get. because I ain't a pro. Um, there's just a lot of debris that got caught up on here. Once it's dry, I'll sweep it off and the joint will look much better than that. So this is from yesterday. 52 bags of concrete. 80 pound bags. Run through that mixer and that wheelbarrow. Smoothed out with a board going like this all the way across. Even though there's still some low spots, but whatever what are you gonna do you know what i mean we smoothed it out the best we could with the tools we had uh next time i'm gonna bite the bullet and get a truck <laughs> have a truck come out here and deliver some concrete because that sucked this is also a huge pad though i mean it's 15 feet by 12 so yeah so we're we just finished we literally just poured the last bucket which was that corner over there so um yeah man that is, uh, how to pour a concrete pad by yourself with no truck. All right, so this is the finished product. The form is still on it, uh, but the pad's totally dry. I'm going to remove the form tomorrow, uh, which you guys won't see. It's not really a big deal. And um, we put the fire pit on it, so check it out. for uh checking this out and uh appreciate you being one of the thousand subscribers you know didn't think i was ever gonna get more than like 50 so cool well until next time have a good one